And we are back straight into it. We are at the fun house in Kitty Kingdom. Let's liberate it. Got my cup of coffee. Mmm. Ah, oh, yeah. We're good to go. All right, is Porter with us? Okay. Anything in here? So, as we, I'm gonna trust you know what you're doing. <laughs> Wasting space on that. Why do all the companions hit Don't looting? Worry. The mirrors are too dirty to reflect anything. In your case, I'd say that's probably a benefit. Uh, well, this. This ain't no Crystal Palace maze from uh, Bullet London. That's for sure. Ah, if you look at the ground instead of the mirrors. It's actually a really good tactic. Just look at the ground. Ha, it looks like there's a ghoul here. Let's have some fun. Well, that was fun. Is that a legendary roach? No, it's just a standard roach. Ah, uh, Raider tried to oh, make it through as well. Lost? Pathetic. I really want to know who this person is that's talking. Hey, hi some mirrors. Completed it, mate. We're out. Alright, so, what's next? <gasps> Who are you? And why did you do that? I higher radiated the water. Oh, not very. Whoop! Oh, I'm spinning, I'm spinning, I'm spinning. Wait, what? What? Hey! What? What? <laughs> right, time to try this again. Head. It hurts. Hmm, that seems a bit ominous, doesn't it? For the for the fun house. Oh, no. This is just he's still there. Oswald the outrageous. Can't get him. Oh, that just means that you avoid doing that bit. Okay. No hall. Sweet. System set to reduced nausea mode. What if it's not? Oh. But. Hey, a scav magazine! 10% hand-to-hand -hand weapon damage. I haven't seen a magazine in so long. Mutant fists of Stevie Knuckles. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, are you feeling lost? Pathetic. Okay, so we went. This is the way we're to go. I don't get nauseous at many things, but. Woo! So that's the exit. 
Oh, that's a mirror. Oh, are you feeling lost? That's a mirror. Pathetic. This is not a mirror. Now, the reason I'm running back is I actually want to throw on that nauseous mode thing. Just, just to see for myself, like, is it much better? million times better. Yeah. If you're playing this and previously that was a little, ooh, well, this is what you need to do. That's a glass thing, isn't it? Oh, it's not. We made it. Any of these? Oh, no. Are you feeling lost? Pathetic. That just puts us into the first room again. Get some. <laughs> oh, you were waiting for me. All those hundreds and hundreds of years in line here, and you wait for me. I feel honored. Feeling dizzy yet? Can't tell which way is up. Can I sit in the chair? Okay. Drink Nuka Cola today. Fusion Core Purified Water and Exhale. Ah, oh, I haven't seen one of them in a while. Nice. Wonder can I get to? Ooh, Wonder how we can get up to that. I have to be able to get up that door. Come on. I'm like, give me, give me hype. Oh. Ah. Well, that took way too much effort. Just an explosive. You got, I got it like it was pixel perfect. Run and jump and ooh, and you can just, just about get it there. So. Anyone has a slightly easier method, let me know, because that took way too long off camera. And the only luck I had there was that I was able to press the record button fast enough. Here, I wonder could I have used this? That, do you know what? That actually might have done it. I'm surprised they didn't build in some sort of, oh. How long? Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, that, if you could have got a good jump off that chair, it might have been the better route. Anyway, my head is fried. Bad oh no, Gage! Oh, look out! Shit! <laughs> Boss, look out! Get down, Mr. President! Run! Well, you're a bit hardier than those others, it oh. seems. But not much smarter, I'm afraid. Okay, so we've got a teddy with a wee hat. That's pretty cool. We've got a little rad scorpion, which I blew up. We've got first aid. Does it do much? Oh <coughs> shit. Question answered. <coughs> the flame thrower. Next room's a. Uh... Oh, it's one of them getting smaller. Is that an actual thing? How long? If you use the no clip command, you can go all the way up to the first aid, and it is in fact a tiny, tiny first aid kit. That's pretty cool. See the little things you find. 
Next up, we've got... Now there's a lovely sight. This. I think my explosive took out most of uh, these wee displays. It probably would look nicer if you didn't have to blow it up. Which I did. But don't worry. I'll be doing a video guide on this particular location in the coming uh, days. Anywho. Anywho. Sweet. So, uh... No worries in that regard. Can I take the Gideon? Yay. Love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've done that. All right. Hey. That's three clues. The letters must spell What's this? 750. New Kia tickets. Why don't tell me about that? It's awesome. See? See what you get for being thorough. People saying that, that I'm not going through it fast enough. Well, who's got 750 New Kia tickets, eh? Is it gauge opening these doors or what? Oh. Alright, that's the fun house. Hmm. Done. Hey! Awesome. Right. Mmm. Oh, I'm like slowly waking up. That's great. Okay. We are clearly not done with this building. As where Oswald was standing. Sorry. Perfect. Woo! System access. Hall of Murs. Bottle jumps. Hypno hulls. Oh, you can turn the nausea off here. Spinning room. I can turn it off. Class. User logs. Living in the fun house. After the crew divided up the park for living accommodations, Bradley is over the moon. We get to live in the fun house. It's a ton of room, but every memory I have of this place involves some uh, and <laughs> involves someone getting nauseous from the spinning. I'm glad he's happy about it at least. It's been far too long since I saw a smile on his face. I don't think he's realized it yet, but everything that's going on. But he would have graduated high school last month. I know it's selfish, but part of me is glad that the attack happened when it did so I can have my son here safe with me. Woke up to find that Bradley had gone out in a radiation storm. He said he couldn't take living like this, and if the radiation was going to kill us, he'd rather die quickly. I don't know if he'll ever realise how much it hurt me to hear him say that. Luckily, the storm doesn't seem to have hurt him at all. In fact, that ankle sprain, sprained messing around the spinning room last week seems to have helped him or have healed instantly. Maybe whatever the mutation the initial storms gave us has somehow made us immune to radiation. Thank goodness for that. Something snapped in me during the last attack on Kitty Kingdom. Maybe it was the pent-up rage from Bradley leaving, but during the attack I lost it and bit into the neck of one of the attackers. At least that's what they tell me. I don't remember. It's all hazy after the attack started. God, I'm so hungry all of a sudden. I've probably eaten 20 potatoes today, but I can't seem to shake it. Damn it, why am I so hungry? Want something. This new group is different. I haven't been in here for or haven't been in here for years. Not since Herman changed. This terminal is still signed in under his name. I can't even remember how long it's been since he was able to have a conversation. Maybe Rachel is right about needing to leave to find a cure for the affliction. Anyway, the new group of psychos that moved in the Nuka Town, USA, is clearly different than the last one. Stronger and way more aggressive. They pushed us all the way back to the fun house, which I haven't had to go into for years. I better start getting this place ready as a fallback again. It doesn't seem that those gangs are going to be dissuaded easily. I just hope our defenses can hold them off long enough to find a cure. Oh. It closed a door, but I'm not sure which door. Oh. Oh. 
I did wonder where this went. Anyway, we can probably just open it from here. Voila! So, I, I thought originally maybe Oswald was, you know, uh, Bradley's father, but I'm now coming to the conclusion I don't think that's the case, which makes it darn right more confusing, if anything. Anything in the water? Hiding about? No? That would be a no. Alright, let's get out of here. Back where we came, we can head on to the tunnels next, see if they have anything. Well, in the middle of this rainstorm, Porter has decided to just chill out. Nice. Okay, I know of two entrances into the tunnels, I don't know if they, I don't know if they make a massive difference, so we'll go to the only one that I can remember right now. Whoop. Push me! Yep, that's exactly the way I wanted that to go. Secret employee tunnels reveal your secrets to me. Got it. Alright, we're in the tunnels. Bravo 6, going dark. The shimmer of the blade. That tells me no one's in here. There's something over there, though. Which is fine, so we'll check. There's uh, a lot more to this place than you think at first, eh, boss? You yeah. sure you want to bother with that? PG terminal? Huh. Refugees, I suppose there was a lot of people living out uh, before the raiders came. Although, that being said, they did say they're survivors of Dry Rock Gulch. Nice. So it'll be interesting to see if that's actually the case. I'll probably be able to raid this and then I'll have to do a return. Oh, these type of tunnels. Well, maintenance ones. Okay, I'm just doing a quick run through to see. Right, this is a whole different section. Does this go down into more, or does it just end here? It just ends here. Right. Gotcha. Okay, let's read the refugee terminals. We know that this splits off into two, two ways you can go. User logs. Dr. Morris, or Dean Morris. It actually happened. The enemy finally dropped the bombs on us. Thank God we had the plan and everyone stuck to it. We couldn't talk sense into all the park visitors, but we were able to grab a few out of the stampede and take refuge in the employee tunnels. Oswald and Rachel did a pretty good job stocking up down here. We've got preserved food and seeds, water from the pump systems, tools, extra lumber, just about everything we need. Except for weapons. That was Mitchell's job and we don't know if he survived. We just gotta keep calm about this right and ride it out. That crazy bastard. It's been about a week since the bombs fell and we'd all written Mitchell off for dead. Then he comes rolling up in a half in a semi half full of guns, explosives, food, medicine, chemicals, you name it. Said he had been busy gathering the rest of what we needed to fortify Kitty Kingdom. He had some blood in his shirt, but when Oswald started to ask him about it, we all told him to just leave it alone. I mean, Mit Mitchell's a crazy bastard, but right now I'd rather have him on our side. I certainly wouldn't want to go up against them. We blew up the surface tunnel passages connecting to the other areas of the park. If things don't calm down in another few weeks, we'll head outside and barricade the gates. Radiation storms. The fighting outside has died down a bit and we've barricaded the gates to Kitty Kingdom. While we were finishing up, a weird storm started to blow in over the horizon to the east. We barely had time to finish up and when it hit, it hit hard. I've seen all sorts of storms, but this one was different, almost like a tornado with green lightning arcing through the sky. We all ended up taking shelter where we could, but a few people just got sucked into the vortex and were just gone. We were trapped for hours when that crazy storm passed over. 
It must have picked up the fallout from Boston because everyone has been sick for weeks now and quite a few have died. Those of us who haven't are changing. The preparedness videos never said anything about this. Some sort of affliction. We've been alive here for over a hundred years now. The change has affected all of us. It seems as though our bodies have adapted to the radiation. Our features have become twisted and distorted, but we no longer felt ill. Unfortunately, it seems this change has affected some of us worse than others. First it was Mitchell, now Herman. They aren't speaking anymore and they seem to just shuffle away growling. If we try to hold them back, they start to get violent. We've tried everything we can think of, talking to them, medication, every possible remedy for a cold or sickness. But whatever this affliction is, we can't seem to beat it. Rachel's convinced that it has to be some sort of illness. The rest of us just call it the affliction. I pray we find a solution before it takes us all. Alright. So, obviously they were becoming ghouls. Never great. Coming to ghoul. If there ever was a nuclear war, it would be extremely interesting, scientifically speaking, to see how things develop. Not good for the rest of the world, or most of us. Any of us. All of us. What are you doing out of costume again? You know Nuka fires people for breaking character. Yes, of course, I'm kidding. But seriously, the clown makeup helps scare the invaders off. And there's a new one in the park. No, no, I what don't think going that's going to work this time. There's something different about this one. See? I can do that too. Now, stop squirming. Sorry. I know you can't help it. We just have to hold out till she gets back with a cure. Then we'll drive the raiders out and get the farm back in order. We'll fix this. I promise. Oh. There. Back in character. I need to prepare some more surprises for our visitor. So I'll leave you to find your way out. Burn him down! Oh, why? It's indestructible, bulletproof glass. Of course it would be. What else would it be? Really bad move. I've had to use Only more Ronex here than the glowing eyes. sea. That's quite the daring feat, isn't it? Okay, so there's the other section we've got to go through. It probably takes us just to the exit, so... You know, I'll bear it in mind. And we will, of course, go through it. We have to be thorough. I don't believe there's any unique items here, but... At least you had a viable blood sample. That makes you very useful. Aha. Kitty Kingdom Tunnel's key. The pump control system. The pump control system. Turn off the mist sprayers. User logs. The first attack. This was Fran Fowler signed in. It's been the first few weeks since the bombs fell and we've been attacked for the first time. It wasn't even a big group and they weren't as well armed as we were. During the fight I froze up when some grocery clerk charged Evan from behind. He was knocked to the ground and was about to have his head bashed in with one of those gumdrop decorations when Mitchell blew the clerk's brains out. Now Evan is pissed at me for not watching his back. The damn world has ended and I have to deal with a pissed off boyfriend. <laughs> Why is this happening? been a few months since the radiation storm started. 23 people have died so far and I'm starting to wish I was one of them. My skin looks like a prune, at least in the places where it hasn't fallen off. A couple of the others seem to have stopped changing but they look terrible. Half of my hair, hair has fallen out. Another clump just fell out while I was typing this. Evan's hair has gone entirely and I can barely stand to look at him. We had a huge fight about it and now he's moving his stuff out of here and up into the clock tower. I felt like a monster chasing him off but maybe it's true. Maybe I am a monster. Maybe we all are. Contamination in the water. Some sort of alarm woke us in the middle of the night. It looks like the water intake pipes are contaminated. I mean the water is practically glowing. The alarm must have been some sort of automated fail safe to protect the park. 
We'd all heard the rumours about Nuka World having some sort of reactor in the battling plant. God only knows what they put in that quantum stuff. The heck with it. Or the heck with it. It's been over a year now. If the radiation from the storms hasn't killed me, what's a little bit more? I'm going back to bed. Found a use for the sprayers. We were attacked by a huge mob today. They almost made it into the castle this time. As we were trying to drive them back, I had an idea. We may be immune to radiation now, but these people aren't. I ran into the tunnels and turned on the water sprayers. In minutes, the attack was over. Man, we should have been doing this for years. When I haven't heard it was me who figured it out, he kissed me until he couldn't until I couldn't see straight. I don't know if it means things are totally good between us again, but hell, I'll take it. The affliction sweeping through our people is getting worse. It took Herman last month. He knew it was coming, we all did. Until Rachel can figure out some way of fixing it, I'm afraid we're all going to end up like that. We survived radiation storms, starvation, attacks, and God knows what else for a hundred years now. But how can we fight this? It's not fair. I don't know if I'm just angry or if it's a sign I've got the affliction. God help us all. Well, the spares are off. This seems to be where he was painting all the ghouls. Summer shorts. Acting so fast. Don't actually know the lyrics to that. At all. So, how bad's the water? Yeah, with a load of rat X, it's, it's fine. It, it, it's all good. Alright, Porter, let's, uh, let's blow this popsicle stand. Not before we go to the other section. Okay, there's the door. Be interesting to see what way that takes us out. But I do want to see what is this way. Okay, can't get in there. Okay. This would have been a unique wee settlement, wouldn't it? I mean, I assume you can't make it a settlement. Well, Don't do that in real life, kids. Filthy. And not the fun kind. No shortage of suckers in the Commonwealth. Makes life easy. So long as you're careful. Good advice, Gage. Another axe up. Is. Ah. Don't know if that was meant to spell something, but doesn't I? Try not to think about what kind of shit is around God. Just I seen that a mile. Like you were not subtle in the slightest. 25% chance to deal fire damage on a block. They should have had a perk for fire damage. I don't know why they didn't have something for that. Make flamers great again. And the gainer. It also had fire damage. But it's made practically obsolete. Because of the lack of anything to buff said fire damage. Got there in the end, didn't I? I know there's mods and all. Oh, there's like four entrances? Fair enough. So this would have been like the most ideal one. Oh no! You shut off my defenses! Oh wait, I'll just turn these back on! Damn it! So close. Damn you, Oswald! Damn you! Okay, so... That was the one that you probably want to use. And then the other entrance, I believe, is just round... It's just behind here, isn't it? No, it's not. Anyway, I'm not going to pretend I know where the other two entrances are. All I do know is we're going to the theater. And we might be going in the wrong direction. I, 
think I've just walked back to the fun house. Damn you, kitty kingdom. Why is it saying there's an enemy? Who? Who's the enemy? I don't remember being in here. Oh, maybe I was. Don't worry, I'll clear this place out. Woo! Get some! Alright, so, now that we've finished looting, majority of Kitty Kingdom, we can proceed on to uh, the next bit, which is King Cola's castle. I could fast travel to it, but I ain't like that. Oh, I was like, where, where's the carts? Carts are behind me. Oh, you respawned, have you? Can you move? It's kind of sad looking. Oh well. Relieved of duty. Ooh, bit I missed. They're like barnacles, but more annoying. Oh, we have not been here before. And that's great. Because I get the little dog. Yes. Wait, how am I on the, uh, the looting department? How much weight have I got? 370. 370. Be interesting to know if this guy's friendly or not at the end. Alright, I think what I'll do is I'll actually fast travel out to return all my items to my base with Porter. Or I could just give it all to Porter. Hey. More than happy to hold all the expensive stuff. Awesome. Do you know what? You you can just carry everything. Chinese grenade launcher sniper rifle. It just has the makings of greatness in it, doesn't it? And let's just pick the heaviest stuff. Good job. We have like 259 carry weight. To go. More or less. In the King Cola's court. They arrive. Quickly. The show is about to begin. Okay. There's quite literally a show. So. Let's get what we need. Is in the corner there preparing himself. I'm gonna save it because I don't know what way this is gonna go. This is no time to pit your bridges. We have a show to do. Now get to the stage. Hey, hold your horses. Hey. Day tripper. On oh, money! Ha! It's like we it's a drug deal going on. Nice. What the hell happened in here? Exactly, Gage. Oh, that takes me into Nuka World. That's not where we wanna go. That's really cool. I really enjoyed seeing that. See, that's the environmental storytelling I love. That was a legendary shotgun. The final shot deals twice as much damage. Cool. The show you've all yeah, been waiting for. Yeah, this is for. fine. I wasn't planning Oswald on sleeping tonight anyway. Outrageous. I'll admit, 
I didn't think you'd make it this far. I can tell you're different than the usual invaders, so I'll not bother with the usual tricks and illusions I use to scare off the superstitious. When the bombs fell, everything changed. He's pretty we cool looking. changed, and somehow I received a gift. Actual magic. The stuff of legend. Perhaps you'd like to see some. Enough shit, uh, trying to... No matter what you do, I can heal my friends, and we will protect what is ours. Oh, I thought, Time honestly, there was a nice way to resolve this. Oh. Confront him? Ah. I was gonna say. I didn't expect to just have to kill him. Like, there seems to be way too much backstory for that to be the case. I know this would be bold to say, but I would say there's already more to Nuka World than there was to Far Harbor. And what's even stranger is that they didn't have a third DLC of another... Ho oh, ho ho! Another location. You know, like Automatron and the Vault Tech Workshop. I feel those were things that should have been more or less in the base game. Or bundled as their own little thing. I suppose attacking Automatron like that mightn't be the most fair thing in the world. It does add some pretty cool stuff. But still, I think you have to be critical at these times. On a game that's this, uh, this old. <laughs> Technical document. But let me know what you think in the comments below, go. of course. If you agree with any of the sentiment. You could bury recipe. Like, when you watch Fallout London, like, once you finish this 100% uh, run, once I do, um, I will be swinging more into uh, Fallout London. And it's a phenomenal game. It, it, it gets a mod, and it is one of the most fun I've ever had. And it's not even from Bethesda, which I find absolutely startling. So yeah, if you enjoy this, you'll love Fallout London. That's my my uh, little take on it. So uh, yeah. I don't know how many episodes of the 100% run for this we have left. Hey, as I said, I always thought between sort of 150 to 200 was where it would probably end up when you include all the sediments and all. So uh, it will eventually turn into, you know, just building up sediments just to get all them finished we'll leave no stone unturned because once we get the scab magazines we complete nuka world it's really just um you know finishing with this the minute man the railroad brotherhood institute and uh, we've got them all to a nice place so uh yeah we'll conquer nuka world anyway hi gage it's good to see you but today it's kitty kingdom We'll see how this goes. Huzzah! Thorn, Flomar. And when I go to drink my coffee. He's back. You raiders are all the same. You come into someone's home, steal their belongings, and kill those they care about. Am I I'm really? not going to let you kill any more of my friends. This is our home, not yours. So I can attack him. I can end it with bl without bloodshed. Hmm. Fantastic. So, we're actually going to do this in a few ways. This isn't going to be the final one. So, we'll be sarcastic. If these feral ghouls are your friends, I'd love to see who you consider your enemy. How ironic you should say something like that. We've defended this place for over 200 years. Do you think you're the first outsider I've met? that's chosen to brand feral ghouls as monsters? 
How many of them have you needlessly slaughtered while ignorantly thinking you're doing the world a favor? Hmm. Ghouls like your friends. It's too late for them. The radiation changed them. Forever. So you're admitting my friends are sick, and yet you try to kill them anyway? <laughs> I'd say that makes you the only monster around here. So I can't just attack them. It's not a sickness. The radiation has consumed their minds. They've become feral. You're wrong. Rachel is going to find a way to cure them. We're going to fix this. My beloved left this place years ago to find a cure to this disease. In return, I swore that I'd keep our people safe by defending our home. When Rachel walks back through those gates with the cure in hand, then you'll see, everyone will see, that I was right. So, there's no cure. Go help her or she abandoned you. If there is a cure... The only way she'll find it is with your help. Maybe you're right. If Rachel is still out there, I'll find her, and we'll search for this cure together. I'll gather what remains of my friends, and we'll leave this place in your care. Don't worry about the radiation. It will no longer be a burden to you and your kind. Here, you should have this. Consider it an apology for misjudging you. Sword of Wonders ignores 30% of the target's damage and energy resistance. And his top hat increase her movement speed by 10%. Hey boss, can we talk now? Okay, well, if we kill him, we get his magical tuxedo. But, I actually have another way we're dealing with this. Okay, so we're back to, I just fought him in the theater. Now, there is an additional way to end it with him. Which uh, actually would fit in nicely. So we've got to go to Braberton first. Before we confront them up on the roof. Now again this is something that a lot of players maybe never seen. So I think it's a very interesting uh, way to go about it. Because obviously it ended with us saying either there's no cure. He'll attack us. Which we can kill him. Take his magic tuxedo and his hat. And the sword anyway. Or alternatively what we can do. Hello I'm going to actually. I'm going to go, go find a bed and sleep here. Right, that's better. So, alternatively, you say go and, you know, find Rachel and help him, help her find a cure. But, what I just learned was we can actually find Rachel before we meet Oswald and the roof. And it gives a whole new dialogue. Which is pretty awesome. First things first, though, we gotta clear this place. Oh! That was easy. Er, than they thought it was going to be. Okay, let's clear this. Honestly, we don't have time for this, so get. Go on. Nice. Tell you what, the Woodwind is going to be happy with all the blood samples I'm retrieving. Wait, what? I just walked. Just, did I just phase through that? I did. Okay, let's listen to the hollow tape. Rachel's hollow tape. I think this is it. I can't go any further. I can feel it taking me. No. Gotta keep it together a little longer. Oswald, I'm sorry. I've looked everywhere I could think, but there's no cure. What towns and outposts I could find said that we ghouls just go feral eventually. And there's nothing to be done. Maybe it was the misters. Held out. As long as I can. I know this isn't what you'd want, but... I can't stand the thought of mindlessly attacking everyone around me. So I've decided to end it on my own terms. I don't know why it hasn't affected you the same, but if you still have it together, I want you to move on. Please, Nuka World. You can still make a life out there. I love 
Oh, he blocked the attack, and it set your man on fire. Oh, well. I guess that's actually a pretty cool thing to give to a companion. A withered one. It's kind of cool to see a normal one that's not charred. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Yes, and charred is just there. They must be the toughest ones you can fight. So, with everything we've gathered, we can go talk to uh, Oswald again with this prior knowledge. Now, apparently, the only way to get his magician's tuxedo is to kill him. So, I'll kill him, show you the item, and then we can end it uh, peacefully. Because I think for the 100% run, instead of requiring that I get the items, I think the rule should be as long as on camera I've gathered it. Because eventually it's just going to sit in a chest and no one's ever going to see it again. So as long as you all see that the item is procured, I think that counts. Because I would rather progress uh, storylines than just needlessly getting items. That you'll, again, never see again. So, uh, yeah, that's the rule there. Yeah, there's a couple of buildings just scattered about here that I want to have a look at. I've already cleared that out. Okay, we're back onto the same main street, so... I just was here! Where were you a minute ago? I don't get this. Oh. I'm actually just glad that I seen a normal one for once. I mean, once you reach level 100, like, you, you, well, once you reach, like, level 50, you're almost, you're practically invincible. I mean, what can they really do to me? The answer's nothing. There, there's nothing they can yes. do to me. I've just ran about, done too many quests, leveled up too much. I mean, I could, as I said, the difficulty I could up to very hard, from hard to very hard, but then they just become bullet sponges. Where are they? You and I don't want half the screen time of this playthrough at, towards the end to just be me smacking something a million times even though i know some of you would 100 percent love to watch that <laughs> i need to keep it fun and spicy for me too um there is just something strange about that one Can't get up there. Fair enough, fair enough. Are you still fighting? Wiggy wiggy, time for school. You are shitting me. I did nothing. Us. There, there can't, there can't be anymore. Said that fully expecting a little more to crawl out, but I, I guess that was it. Robertson has been conquered. I think, mostly. It would appear that it has been conquered. What next? Oh, can I not get in the... No, the church is completely sealed off. 
And there's a few other wee houses just dotting the area. May as well go check them out. Never know what you might find. A noodle cup. This was already worth it. I don't think I've had a noodle cup at any point. Maybe in the early game. Ho ho ho! Safe. Sweet. Oh yeah. Love it. A rib cage and fancy lad snacks. What more do you need? Ooh. Right, this. This is a good find. Oop. Hey, a Chinese officer sword that drops stim packs and burns for a bit. That is cool. Don't know the meaning of it, but that's pretty cool. Alright, let's drop that one pesky item that made its way into my... Two of them, in fact. Is that a door? Gage has that in the bag. Ah! Actually, is something I missed. You tell them, Gage. <laughs> well, we gift shop term though. Probably just unlocks this, which is fine. I can just unlock it anyway. Nice. That's it. I'll let him fight on. Note. Okay, it's not note. It must be fuse. Nope. It's not fused, so it must be ice. That's it. New products. I've just finished displaying two new products along with signage. Please push these new products as often as you can. There'll be a bonus of $5 gift card to whoever sells the most. Cappy ashtray, small, $20. Large, $30. Cappy's candy cigarettes, $5. Edit, the Nuka-Cola Corporation has not responded to my request to verify if the rumor of actual nicotine being present in their candy cigarettes is true or not. Please do not call attention to this while speaking to the customer. Discount reminders. Little Nuka gift shop offers the following deals, discounts and sales. Employees are responsible for being familiar with these. Offsite parking. Joe Johnson has graciously allowed us to use a couple of acres of his land for offsite parking. Parking is $15 an hour with the following notes. Grass lot parking only. Not responsible for damage, lost or stolen vehicles or goods. 24 hour towing is available should cars become stuck. And only a 10 minute walk to the bus stop. Buses arrive every 10, every 15 minutes. Joe's also suggested bug repellent be advised. We have park tickets available at a discount price for any paying customers. Buy $50 of merchandise and we are authorized to sell tickets for 10% off. We do not take Nuka Cola bottles. Should a customer prefer to receive the advertised $15 off, they must purchase their tickets at the Nuka World Gates. Family discounts for families of 5 plus may receive a 12% discount with the purchase of 100 or more. And senior citizens are 5%. Veterans and military and are active military is 10. And children ages 2 or younger do not require a ticket. General sales are ongoing throughout the year. T-shirts are buy 5 get 1 free. Visors are buy 1 get 1 50% off. And customers receive 5% off batteries with a purchase of any product that requires them. Nice. Memo, read me. We recently had an incident where an employee swapped out Nuka Cola branded items for off brand knockoffs. This is absolutely not allowed. We operate with the approval of the Nuka Cola er, Corporation. So any cheap knockoff quality products are not tolerated and will result in immediate termination. How to tell if an item is off brand? Names may be spelled wrong or a variant is used. Cappy, Nuke World. The official Nuka Cola logo is absent from the product. Some exceptions may be made, so see management when in doubt. Leland. You got that? Me? Awesome. Computers were always beyond me. <laughs> Come on. Don't worry, Gage. You don't need to worry about the computers. Let me worry about them. 
We definitely hit the hornet's nest out there, didn't we? Souvenir magnet cow. Awesome. Oh. <gasps> Get some! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Get wrecked! That was a real good throw. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Chinese sword was a reference to Dark Souls. Cool. I just went and had a wee Google of that because I was, I was curious and wanted to see did we miss anything else in this beautiful little town. Anyway, they told me to go to the northeast. I might find something. Then we'll go to Kitty Kingdom. Oh, that's a billboard. I don't know if it was specifically telling me to go this far northeast. It seems a little too far northeast. Anyways. Doesn't seem to be too much going on out the back here. Must have been the truck it was referring to. Huh. Anyways. Silly, silly me. How, how do I miss these things? I'm usually so thorough. Oh. Um. Can I, can I take that? Can, can you, um. Okay, invisible barrier. You keep your vault tech lunch box. I do not need to take that much radiation damage. Serious? I thought I thought we had taken everyone out, Gage. Okay. I want to discover this dam because I, I do want to. Uh, my grand plan is to like slowly make my way around the outskirts, eventually to the power plant. And the mystery mansion. So, in order to do that, I would like to uh, discover locations. And one is this dam. Do this. Go speak to Oswald. All will be right with the world. Ah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, that's me told. They shan't go that way. Oh, look at it. It's just begging to be attacked. Remember you used to be the scariest things in the game? I remember that too. Who's the Razor Claw now? Fats and Hans Ford. Nice. Hello, Skeleton. Oh my god, I didn't see that one coming. I mean, I should have seen that one coming. Hey boss, can we talk now? What? Um, can, I, can we? Of course. What What's better a, time? I, uh, I just wanted to say. That whole thing with Coulter, I know we talked about it some, but uh, it could be a sore spot between us, yeah? I mean, here I went and turned on the overboss. Who's to say I wouldn't do it again? Fair enough. Don't worry, Gage. I don't believe that you'd betray me. Okay. Okay, good. Look, Coulter was a piece of shit. <laughs> I've been real clear about that with you. But that, really, that was all on me. I'm the one who talked him into being overboss in the first place. Okay. Everybody makes mistakes, Gage. Sounds like he was yours. Yeah, guess so. Right then, I thought Coulter was what this operation needed. Big, strong, didn't take shit from nobody. The gangs would fear and respect him, and he'd listen to me. I'd use all my years of experience to help him run things. But he was stubborn. Let shit go to his head. Ain't the first time I've seen it, honestly, but it was one of the worst. Hmm. What are you saying? 
You've made a habit out of doing this? No, no. This whole Nuka World plan was way bigger than anything I'd done before. Wonder what he did One before. One thing I've learned over the years, being the guy in charge also means you're the guy with the biggest target on your back. Whether it's another gang looking to take whatever you scrape together or some punk thinking he knows better than the boss, there is always, always someone gunning for you. I don't want that target on me, but if I can be the guy just behind the guy in charge, well, that suits me just fine. If I got his ear, I can steer things in a direction that benefits me and usually everyone else. Fair enough. Sounds very practical of you. It's meant a longer life so far, if nothing else. But look, you ain't like Coulter. That's what I'm getting at. You ain't like the other raiders I've run with. So far, you make a pretty damn good overboss. And it's been fun running with you. I'm just saying, I'm starting to be glad we teamed up is all. All right, fuck it. You know what I'm getting at. Let's get going. Nice. Okay. Cheers, my alert queen. Is that a roll of Nuka Kid tickets? No. I wonder if you were gunning just for Nuka Kid tickets. I wonder where they all are. Mm hmm. Any more about. No? Seems we fairly did a number on them, didn't we, Gage? Check his house, and then we'll speak to Oswald. Desk farm. That coffee pot was like, pick me, pick me. Desk fan just thrown in the trash. Where were you during the, the hunt for desk fans? I don't see much else going on around the pond here. No. <laughs> the shell was defending its uh, brethren there. Okay. Carrying too much. What? I'm gonna be carrying too much. What did I pick up? One thing. Uno. Uno thing. There we go. That got me good. The North Point Reservoir has been sorted. There might be a little more to it, which I'll be back. So we'll go to the, the castle. All right. So this is what I want to show you here. Bad move. If I just absolutely rinse Oswald here. Where'd he go? Don't worry, we are going to talk to him. I just want to talk to him with bullets first. So now that he's dead, reduce damage from humans by 15%. We get his top pop, we get his sword anyway. And then you've got to kill all these guys before they do a number on you. Anyway, that's not the end that we're going with. But I did want to see his tuxedo. So, let's chat. You raiders are all the same. I'm not going right. Right, so let's end it with bloodshed. I'm not your enemy. This can end without bloodshed. We've defended this place for over 200. Yeah, How many before. of them have you needless? It's too late. Ghouls like your friends. It's too late for them. So you're admitting? I'd say that... Mm-hmm. Not a sickness. It's not a sickness. You're wrong. Rachel, mm -hmm. my beloved left this place years ago in return. I swore that I'd keep our people safe by now defending we get to drop it our on home. When Rachel walks back through those gates with the cure in hand, then you'll see, everyone will see, that I was right. 
give him the hollow tape. Let's go. Rachel's dead. Here. She left this for you. She's dead? No. No! My poor Rachel. How could I allow her to leave my side on such a difficult journey alone? This is all my fault. Well, that does it then. It's up to me to leave here and find the cure myself. I'll gather what remains of my friends and will leave this place in your care. Don't worry about the radiation. It will no longer be a burden to you and your kind. Nice. Here, you should have this. Consider it an apology for misjudging you. Okay, we got a sword. And we got his hat. Farewell. And that's how it's well done. This place is quite irradiated. But we now have his password. Which means we can access the systems, the... Oh, well, they're off anyway. So this is Oswald's one. Things are fi oh, things are finally stable. It's been about 50 years since the bombs fell. We've seen large groups come and go. Usually we've managed to scar them off or use the radiation sprayers to get rid of them. Seems like most of the attackers are just terrified of the clown makeup. It's kind of sad. They used to bring so much laughter. On the whole, things are good. We have plenty of food, water, and even partial power which we, when we need it. Which I'd imagine is a lot more than most. Even the mutation from the radiation storms hasn't been that bad after we learned to cope with it. I'm glad Rachel is still alive. I think she's the only one keeping me together. I can't sleep. We've had to board up another person today. That's over 10 in the past year alone. Trying to keep everyone organized and uh, keep everyone's spirits up since Kenneth, Mitchell and Herman are gone. But there are some days I just don't want to even get out of my bed. Some have started talking about putting the afflicted out of their misery, but we had to put a stop to that talk pretty fast. We've been here a long, long time, and these just aren't the people I survived the war with. They're our new family. We've got to find a way to help them. Was that me at real magic? There was a big attack today, and Dean got hit by a stray bullet. The thought of losing another one of us caused me to snap, and suddenly, as though it was energy literally th flowing through my body, then Dean just got up and gasped for air. I healed him. I have no idea how. After the attack, it hit me. Was this some sort of mutation or real magic? I mean, given the circumstances, who could tell the difference? Even if we had a scientific explanation, does that really make it less magical? Regardless of what I want to call it, maybe I can use my powers to help the afflicted. Obviously, Oswald is a glowing one, so they use that little thing to heal people. So uh, he just discovered it. New neighbours. Some big gang took out the group in Yucca Town this week. The gang looks pretty aggressive, so we decided to leave them be for now. It's too bad. We almost had decided to make contact with the traders there, but now it looks like we've missed our chance. Rachel is talking about one or both of us breaking from the group to try and find a cure somewhere else. But, if the two of us leave, I don't know if there will be enough leadership to keep the place together. After Rachel, Rachel left. It's been over a year since Rachel left and still no word. At home, there's nobody left. No one but me and the afflicted and that gang of raiders next door. At first, I was wishing that Rachel had stayed behind, but I kept coming to the conclusion that she did the right thing, no matter how much it hurt. She had to leave for... Leave, eh, she had to leave for the good of us all. Only problem is, I don't know how much longer I can hold the castle. The walls are crumbling. The walls are crumbling. I don't know how much longer I can hold them up. I miss you, Rachel. Ah. Uh, Oswald Oppenheimer was his name, by the way. Nice. Okay, so... Hey! Hey! Who to pick, who to pick. The more territories, the more tolerant they'll become. Well... I like the operators, and I like the pack, and the disciples are strange. I'll give the operators a... I'm sure they'll be pleased at that. Oh. Aha. I am being rewarded. Another level up. Woohoo! Let's get some. What are we going to pick?
No perk we really need. It's more so just what, what do we want? <laughs> what I want right now is just a max out blacksmith. There's a few mods that need it, but eh, there's a couple that could be useful. So this is just the top of the place. Oswald's little residence. Alright, we'll walk around the edge of this. I think the next one will be Safari World. Safari Adventure. Give it to the pack. That'll definitely piss the or the disciples off, but you know. You win some, you lose some. Okay. Checked all around these. Um there was an option to go up. Uh jumping off there don't seem like the smartest decision. Where was that door? It said it would take you up to the one of the towers. And this one. At this point, I'm just being thorough. Rachel's terminal? A lab coat? Oh. Glad I did come in here. You'd have absolutely missed this. Got it. That just wouldn't be the case. The tunnel's key. Ah, so you could have came here first. Okay, let's read Rachel's terminal then. Agent. Must be Jan then. Nice. User logs. This is... Ooh. Oops. This is R. Watkins. Signed in. Rachel Watkins. I've got the part. I got the Princess Cherry part. Technically, Dad thinks I got an internship working with the beverage ears. At least I got a job working at Yuga World. Which means I can wait and get to know some of them before applying. I mean, I love the acting, but I still want to put that rather expensive organic chemistry degree to use. My boyfriend Oswald and the rest of the gang passed out here in the tower after they threw me a party. All of us got drunk and came up with this ridiculous plan to take over the park if the war ever got bad. Like, nuclear bad. We all agreed, but instead of shaking on it, we did a round of shots. Here's the 2077. I hope it's a hell of a year. Oh, it certainly was. Moving on up. We've got our defenses set up now and things are starting to look a bit better. Thanks to my background, I've sort of become the unofficial doctor of our raggedy little bunch. Oswald has been so supportive and he continued to manage this whole crisis like a real leader. I'm so proud of him. Whatever that horrible radiation storm did to us, everyone is having bad reactions. But there are others literally dying from it. I wish I could do more to help everyone, but I'm an organic chemist, not a surgeon. I don't have the heart to tell people they're slowly dying in my arms, so I just keep it to myself and try to give them hope. The Affliction. My good friend Fran succumbed to the Affliction a few days ago and I've just been a wreck. Dean and Oswald boarded her up in a house before she tried to attack anyone, which I don't think I could have taken. Oswald stayed the night up here and just held me while I cried. I tried to apologize to him for falling apart like this when he needed me to be strong. But I knew since elementary school and I couldn't hold it any longer. Or I knew her since. I hate this place. Magic is real. There was a huge attack this week that pushed us all the way back to the gate. Just when we were about to fall back to the theatre, a bunch of the afflicted started crawling out of their houses and started helping us. But as our attackers were retreating, my body froze when I saw a stray bullet hit Dean, and it looked like he was dead. But Oswald did something. This glow came out of his body, flowing like a wave. Suddenly, Dean started breathing again. After the attack ended, we all looked at Oswald, who started muttering something about using real magic. Most of us don't know what to think. Me? I don't care what the hell you call it. Maybe we can use it to cure the affliction. Either way, I gave him a huge kiss for saving Dean's life. We've tried everything that we can think of, exhausted every option. Not even Oswald's powers can seem to stop the affliction. There's only a handful of us left and we're running out of time. I don't know what will get us first, the raiders who moved into Nuka Town or the affliction. So that's it. I've talked it over with Oswald and he's going to stay in Kitty Kingdom to keep everyone safe while I go find a cure. I felt awful leaving everyone behind, especially Oswald, but I really have no other options. I'm going to head over to the town of Braberton near the park and start there. It's a huge gamble, but it better pay off. King Cola's court cast. 
So King Cola was Leo Mendoza, Janelle Cook was Queen Quantum, Nuka Knight, there was Dean and Evan. Uh, Kenneth was the Quartz Jester. Rachel got the Princess. Fran got the Princess Grape. Squire, Orange, the Wild Knight, Lady Victory. A lot of people there. Fair enough. Other cast. I was going to say, oh, headliner of the magic show was Oswald. Uh, Dean and Rachel were the assistants of that. And then the Cola Clowns, Herman, Bradley, Kenneth, Rachel, and Mitchell. There was someone else, but it says corruption, so... Who, who was the R? Oh. Hmm. Anyway. So this was her little, uh, little apartment. Oh, upstairs. Uh, Launder dress. Fair enough. Quite, quite the story. Alrighty. So, with that, Kitty Kingdom is ours. More specifically, the operators. I don't know if they'll start showing up at some point. I'm actually going to have a quick wander just to see. Like, what happens when you give a park over? Like, do I have to fast travel away and come back? And eventually, I'll just find operators everywhere? I'm so far seeing no operators. Come on, guys. Are you slacking? What is this? Anyways, the story of Kitty Kingdom was quite something, I will say. Uh, with Oswald, Rachel, all that. And uh, even got a wee bit of unique dialogue by finding Rachel beforehand. So, uh, that was pretty neat. So, in the heart of things... Sweet. I did say our next destination will more than likely be... Either the new Cabodling Plant or Safari Adventure. Although if I go up to North Point and work my way down to Safari Adventure... Although to be fair, I could just go outside the gates and walk up to it. Either way, Safari Adventure is next. See you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.